Now for this part then we've got to draw the graph of y equals the mod of g of x and we've got g of x as being this graph here. So what does the mod do to this graph? Well the mod remember returns any negative values to, to, makes them positive and the negative values are these values on this branch here. These y values would be negative. So by putting a mod around it they become positive and that has the effect of reflecting this part of the line in the x-axis. So instead of dropping down to minus 6 here, minus 6 gets mirrored up to say a point up here. So that point would be 6. This part of the line is fine, it's all positive there. So the graph's going to look like this, going to come down there, on there, and then we're going to mirror this line through the 6, just missed it there, but let will pretend that's the 6, mirrors it through the 6, and it would go up to 9 actually, up at the highest value here. Well worth marking that value of 9 in. But they wanted to know where the graph of y equals the mod of g of x intersects the axis. So you can see at 2, 0 and at 0, 6. All right? We could even write 0, 6 there if you like in coordinates and we could change that one to 2, 0 as well. But there you go. That's what it should look like.